Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. Today we're checking out the new CMU V0.3 update for Android, and it's a big win for mobile emulation fans. If you don't know about the Nintendo Wii U, it was like an early version of the Nintendo Switch. Even though it's discontinued, it had many amazing games, and now you can play them smoothly on your phone using the CMU emulator. This V0.3 update brings better performance and multiplayer related features, and the most impressive part is how well it runs even on MediaTek and other unsupported processors. In this video, I'll show you what's new, how to set it up, and real gameplay performance so you know exactly what to expect. Before we start, let me quickly tell you what you need. You'll need the latest Semu APK, a keys.txt file, a GPU driver if you're using a Snapdragon device, and of course, your own Wii U game files. Once you have all of this ready, the setup is actually very easy. When you open the emulator for the first time, the home screen will look clean and empty. Don't worry, that's normal. First, open the menu, go into settings, then general settings, and here you'll see an option called add game path. Tap on it, your phone's file manager will open and you simply select the folder where your Wii U games are stored. Now, when you go back to the home screen, your games still won't show up. This is where many people get confused, so watch carefully. Open the menu again and tap on Open CMU Folder. This will open the emulator's directory. Inside this, you'll see a keys.txt file. Delete this file completely. Now go to your original saved keys.txt, copy it, and paste it into this CMU directory. After that, close the emulator fully and reopen it. Once the app starts again, your games will finally appear on the home screen. Now let's set up the best controls for smooth gameplay. Open the menu, go to settings, and then open input settings. First, tap on input overlay settings and enable input overlay. If you scroll down, you'll see options like vibration and other features. You can enable them if you want, but they're completely optional. Go back and open controller one. In the emulated controller option, select Wii U gamepad. That's it, your controls are now properly configured and ready to use. Next, go back to settings and open graphics settings. The first option you'll see is custom GPU driver. If you're using a Snapdragon phone, you can add your GPU driver here. This option is only for Snapdragon devices. Interestingly, in my testing, the system driver actually performs better than custom GPU drivers, and we'll talk more about that soon. After that, set full screen scaling and choose stretch for a better full screen experience. You'll see many other options here, but honestly, there's no need to change anything else. Now go back again and open overlay settings. Set the position to top left so your performance overlay appears on screen. If you scroll down, you'll find more options like FPS and other stats. Enable whatever you like according to your preference. After that, open account settings. This section is meant for online play. I can't fully confirm how stable online multiplayer is right now, but if you're interested, you can tap on the online play tutorial option and explore it yourself. Now all the settings are done. Go back to the home screen and open your game. But before playing, there's one more important thing you should check out, graphics packs, and tap the install icon at the top right to download available packs. Here you'll find many graphics packs for different games. For example, if you have Mario Kart 8, you can enable cheats, graphic enhancements, performance modes, and even multiplayer-related options. You can customize these settings if you understand them, or simply leave everything on default. It works perfectly fine either way. I first tested Mario Kart 8, and honestly, the game runs butter smooth at a perfect 60 FPS, even without installing any GPU driver. The gameplay feels extremely responsive, the graphics look clean and sharp, and there are almost no noticeable issues during races. I only saw a few very minor FPS drops here and there, but nothing that actually affects the gameplay experience. What's really important impressive is that this level of performance is possible even on Mali devices, which usually struggle with heavy emulation. After that, I tested The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and the results were also very impressive. The game consistently stayed above 30 FPS, even while swinging through open world areas of the city. The graphics look smooth and clear, and at times it honestly doesn't even feel like we're running the game through an emulator. I then installed a GPU driver and tested again, and surprisingly, I noticed texture flickering in some areas. This is unusual because GPU drivers normally improve stability but in this case, the game actually performs better on the system driver. So my simple suggestion is to always test both options, but for now, the system driver seems to give more stable and reliable performance in most games. Overall, this CMU V0.3 update is seriously impressive. Very few emulators today can deliver this level of performance, especially on MediaTek and Mali devices. There are many amazing Wii U games you can try, and if your device can handle it, you're going to have a great experience. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel for for more emulator updates and mobile game tests, and drop a comment below sharing your experience or questions. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay creative, gamers.